everyone, welcome to the Tempest Weekly Action Report for the week ending 2 August. I am Scribian, I'm the guild leader of Final Fantasy XIV, I'm also the guild leader of the Tempest Gaming Community, and I want to stress that a little bit more before we get going. Wait, first thing first, I have to say happy birthday to my uh, beautiful daughter today who's attending college and is hitting, turning 20 years old. Uh, happy birthday, and there you go. Okay. So, I want to talk about the Tempest Gaming community. I mean, that's what we do. We're Final Fantasy. That's what we stress. That's what the website shows. That's what we do. We also know we have friends who are playing other games. You guys are welcome to join us and play, talk in TeamSpeak, do all those fun things. I'm going to kind of change the format up a little bit uh, for the weekly action report and talk about the things that we're doing, things we talked about in TeamSpeak, what we did in game, what we've done out of game a little bit. Uh, I'm ready to go. I've got my second cup of coffee here from the morning, uh, a little bit behind being uh, it's 10 o'clock or so and so. I uh, already got my workout in, already got my errands done, uh, a couple more things to do today and I'll be good to go. Looking forward to jumping into Final Fantasy this morning. I've got mining to do, I've got crafting to do, i got my dailies to do, got to get my gear going. I finished off this week my last uh, 170, I got 170 plus for every single set of piece of gear I have and I'm almost done with everything being 180 or above. So, easy to do and you know I'm casual, I'm not like uh, Zojack out there who's, who's hardcore uh, if he's not out there grinding gear, grinding fates, or doing those kinds of things, Zojack in his spare time likes to go out. And I think he was talking to me last night. I need some excitement in his life. Uh, he loves playing Final Fantasy or loves playing whatever games we're playing. You know, he's played with us in Rift and Star Wars and and uh, Arc Age and all the other stuff. And, and but he needs to have some excitement in his life. He said his latest thing to do is he's not out grinding fates or running dungeons or leveling another class and basically going go 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 is that um, he, he's pretty excited to go out and he goes out and he teabags Bandersnatches. And, and that, I just had to say that because he didn't think I would say it, but he did. He said he was out there teabagging Bandersnatches. That, this is not dead Bandersnatches. These are live, coherent Bandersnatches who happen to be standing there and he'll run up and teabag them and then he's got to fight them because, you know, they get pissed. They get pissed when they get teabagged because that's, that's just what happens. Okay, let's continue on with the show and all the other things that are going on. So, this week we, we did... We went into our first raid, and I'm going to, that's right, I am going to start with this. Instead of doing the build-up to, you know, this is what we did, and blah, blah, blah. We we're doing crafting, and I'll talk about Ups and I crafting, and blood, uh, blood right crafting a little bit later. But we went into our first raid, and it's like, okay, cool. We're going to do turns, uh, the coils of Bahamut. All right, now, we haven't done these. I, mean, I think uh, Kazuki's done these. Uh, and he's done turns one through five before, and he did them when it was, you know, when it was really difficult, because you were... You know, you hit the minimum gear score to get in there, and you're like, oh my gosh, it's so hard, and it's tough. And, and of course, we're going in there, and, and most of us are over 100 and something gear score. Now, it does, does level you down. It knocks you down to, I think, it's either 50 or 70 or something like that. And we went in there, and the first boss was, it was fun. Uh, we had a quick wipe, uh, some other stuff. We had seven of us that showed up, and I'd like to thank everyone who showed up. Uh, and that's pretty much our core group of seven who are going to show up. Uh, we do want to recruit a little bit. We picked up uh, uh, a guy who was looking to do the coils, so he came in with us, and he was pretty, he was fun, jumped in team speak, we chatted with him. It was a good time. We knocked out turn one, had some fun, you know, fighting the uh, the defense droids, you know, before we got to the boss, and fought the, fought the serpent, and the fight didn't last that long, because even with the gear knocked down, you're still knocked down to the highest possible gear score that you could have to do it. Now, you can minimize it. You can knock it down to the minimums if you want. There's a checkbox for that. We haven't done that. Maybe, you know, if it stays really, really, really easy, then we might have to do that. Now, we haven't looked at any strategies, except that Kazuki knew the strategy, and I had actually looked at the strategy. I, I told I told everyone, you know, got to get that, that transparency out there saying, hey, I, I forgot one day, and I kind of just watched all 13 coils, and I can't remember who's what and what, but I did remember in the first boss, there was something about spawning ads and the off tank picking them up and, and whatever, and it didn't really matter because our two tanks, the, the, the boss split, two tanks split, they grabbed them, and we killed them, and it was over pretty fast. And that was it. Turn one was done. We were like, woohoo, achievements, Final Fantasy. That's right, we're a year and a half behind, but we got it done. Uh, jumped into boss two, and hit our head against the wall a few times, got our ass kicked, wipes, not understanding what was going on before we finally said, okay, before this gets frustrating, go ahead and, and spoil it. Kazuki explained the fight to us. Uh, we tried it one way, went to the left one time, went to the right one time, went to the left, and then the right, then took out away all of his abilities and got really just smashed on that one. And we said, hey, screw it, let's do the damage, the... Uh, the disease handling thing, and that, that was much easier. We finished off turn two. That was good. It was like two hours worth of rating. It was fantastic. It's about what we want to do. Again, we're casual, fun. Uh, we've been friends for, you know, some of us for years and some of us for, you know, about a year or year or so uh, coming from Arc Age. And so, we, we, you know, we had a blast. We had fun doing that. I think this week we're going to expand the rating a little bit. We're going to probably go. And, you know, because we don't have to do it, we, we can do and jump in and do turn three. I think the next one is just, just mostly ads. We just do that. So do turn three and maybe take a look at turn four. Uh, we want to basically get through turn five because in turn five we'll unlock, you know, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. 
and we'll be able to go and, and jump around and do any of these that you want to do. You don't have to do just one anymore. Uh, so we can just do that, and we can schedule raid nights on whether it's Tuesday night or Wednesday night or Thursday night or any other night, Saturday nights, or no, my Saturday nights, I can't do that, that's my wife's night, uh, Sunday nights or whatever, and we can jump in there and go for an hour because they don't take more than an hour to do this. This is all in building up. Now, again, get out there and talk to some folks, get some recruiting done, and those of you who are looking to come back to Final Fantasy, we're not going like all hardcore. Uh, we've got people who are still leveling up. These raids we're doing are level 50s. Uh, if you're interested, or I mean, I saw we've got a bunch of subscribers who are not necessarily playing the game we're playing. Hey, you want to come over and try it out? Come on over and do that. What are some of the other fun things to do? Now, Ups and I are like push, push, push on the crafting and the gathering. Crafting and gathering. The good thing is, you know, I had leveled Botany up, and then I switched over and I was doing a lot of mining, and Ups leveled Botany up. Now, he's taken Botanist up into the 50s, and I've got mining into the 50s, and he's got weaving into the uh, 55, I think, at least, and I'm, I've got... Uh, goldsmith and um, culinary at 53 and leathers, leathers at 46 now. So we're pushing all those up. Blood's working on, I think he's going to do carpentry and blacksmith and armorsmith. So we've got a bunch of different stuff. So if you want to do this stuff, go ahead and do it. I know a lot of you are leveling and doing that kind of stuff. You can jump into it later. The good thing is we will have lots of information for you. I started doing de de synthesis this week or some other stuff. It's all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, the one thing I'm really enjoying is that God, there is just so much to do. And I'm sitting there saying, well, I really want to do this, and I want to level this class, and I want to level that class, and I want to get my archer up, and I want to do, you know, all these different jobs and classes and fun stuff. And there's just so much to do that I'm like, oh, my gosh, i got to get some crafting done, i got to get some gathering done, I've got to get some PvP done, i got to get my dailies done, i got to do my hunt logs, i got to do... And the thing is, it's none of it's required. I don't have to do it. I mean, I'm, I'm good for healing. I, my character's good. I can, I can go in there. Well, I'm not as good as the healer that Sko says. I mean, Sko had this amazing healer. And he was like, I mean, I think it was like the Da Vinci, is it the Da Vinci, or Michelangelo, you know, Sko said their group's falling apart and they're running around the snap. And this healer was like, you know, he's like that image you see in the Sistine Chapel and he just reaches over and boom, healed. Boom, healed. And you're healed. Let me bring you back to life. And it was, I mean, I can't compete with that. I can't, can't compete with that. It was like some religious figure who was in there just raising everyone and keeping them up. Of course, I mean, it could have been, could have been something else, but you know, he was in there just you know, raising everyone. I can't compete with that. But I, I'm good. I think I'm good to go where, where I am. And I'll try. Sko, I'm telling you, I will try to do that. I'll try to do better. I, I, I'll try to live up to your expectations. And I know the same thing. Zojak's talking about, you know, Zojak's leveling a tank because we don't have any tanks in the guild. Uh, I mean, I don't know what Kyoko's doing, but, um, yeah, he, he logs in. Kyoko's in every single night. He jumps in for like 20 minutes. He went around a dungeon, and you know, some nights he's like, yeah, and then we go run a dungeon. Some nights he's like, oh, no, we're doing other stuff. And then Kyoko's, Kyoko's gone. I, I don't know where he's going. I don't know. You know what he's doing? He's playing other games. He's doing other stuff, too. He's got, he actually, he has he had a couple of long days. I'm just giving you a hard time last week, Kyoko. Um, you know, Blood's gone for three weeks now. He's on travel, and we're going to miss him because he's one of our raiders. He's one of our staples in the guild. Uh, Fracker's in and out because he's got, you know, some real-life stuff going on. Uh, so we need to get more people in here. We need some non... I mean, I'm, I'm cool with some non-Final Fantasy people hopping in TeamSpeak. I want somebody to talk to besides Zojack. Because Zojack... Although I have to say, Zojack, I think two weeks ago, Zojack and I had a fantastic conversation about Star Trek. And it was great. We talked Star Trek, I think, for an hour and a half straight. Star Trek. That's because he was watching... He's watching Next Generation. I was watching Enterprise. And we're kind of comparing who's doing what. You know, prime directives and aliens. And, and it, it was a blast. It was, and actors and actresses and who played what and... It was pretty good. We enjoyed it. It was fun. Uh, so we're looking at other stuff. This week we had a great, a fantastic uh, discussion. I think at one point we were talking about the, the Secret World. And there, was, there's a no, there are a number of us who played the Secret World. And one of the things we loved was the story. And I, I mean, I like the story. I love the setting of, um, of the whole, I mean, the whole horror thing and coming to life. I think Funcom did a great job with that. I think the game is, is doing, I think it's doing pretty decently. Uh, we may hop over and play that maybe one night. I'll check and see. The Tempest Syndicate does still exist. I know I can never get Zojack to play because I'm an Illuminati and he's anti-Illuminati and yeah, I don't, yeah, it's Illuminati. He wants to be a Templar, but that's okay. We'll kill him in PvP and have fun in game. Our game is Final Fantasy, though. That. I just want to stress that. Um, another quick uh, service announcement here: the Star Wars, the first gate for the uh, for being subscribed to Star Wars to get the expansion. I think the expansion is free. I think it's free. I can't find anything for pre-orders. It just says free for subscribers. Um, that is coming up uh, later this fall. Uh, if you wanted to get every single benefit, and you needed to be subscribed as of three days ago, uh, so I think you're not going to get. If you don't subscribe now. If you're not subscribed now or you subscribe within the next week or so, you will, in fact, get everything else except, like, I think it was the Gunman's Duster or some other thing like that, whatever. So just that Star Wars is coming up. It's got another expansion, another storyline. They're changing the game. I'm wondering, is it going to be new game experience? Who knows? We don't know. We don't know. Okay, back to, uh, back into the Tempest. Now, Tempest, we're doing, still doing a lot of stuff. 
Uh, jump in the game, jump in there during the day. We've got a couple people on. You know, I'm on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays during the day uh, when I can be mostly. They're certainly in the afternoons and in the mornings. And I think you've got we've got late night players. Uh, if you want to hop in and chat, see what we're doing, check in on old friends. We welcome all of you guys to come back and chat with us. Come over and say hi and see what's going on. Um, stop by, stop by Teamspeak. If you need the information, uh, get in touch with me. You know, you got my. Uh, a lot of you have me. Um, well, you may have my my email address or not. I don't know. But you can get in touch with me or get in touch with uh, if you're still playing arcades. Get in touch with Sco. Jex disappeared. He has abandoned us. We don't know where he went. I think he found out. I think my understanding is. Now, my guess, this is my guess, my guess for Jex. Jex found, Jex found out that Death and Taxes, is, which was, I, I believe he said was his original WoW guild, where we're, we're like hardcore raiders, is playing Final Fantasy. And I'm assuming that he convinced his girlfriend to go over there and play and just abandoned all of his friends. And he did. He abandoned friends. I thought Jex was a friend. He was. Uh, but now he disappeared. He kind of just left. He's like, mm, that's, that's why he's a second cousin in the family now. Second cousin. Yep. Sorry, Jex. All right, everyone, I uh, hope you've had a great week. I've had a great week. I'm looking forward to it. Hop in TeamSpeak, like I said, say hi. Hop in the game, say hi. Get an invite if you want to play. If not, then, you know, whatever. I hope everyone's having fun in the game that you're playing. Uh, I'm having a blast, and I'm looking forward to lots of more, lots more fun in the fall. Bye. So it been time to roll, but the music hit, had the blunt still lit, who the fuck driving home? So shady, shady, cause when the molly hit, I got to feel those hits, but my girlfriend keeps calling my phone, but fuck it, I'm not going home. Round by round we go, the hit is in control, round by round we go, come let me take control. Got the candles lit, had to change a bit, cause I'm feeling it, cause we own it, but my girl keeps calling my phone, but fuck it, I'm not coming home. Stuck with it, it made it feel sexual, so shady.